Today, we are going to review the skills of monitoring and clarifying as we read. Remember that good readers monitor or pay close attention to their understanding of a text. When readers don't understand what they read, you, they want to stop and clarify or make clear whatever they don't understand. So after you read a section of text, you want to stop and ask yourself this big question. Do I understand what I just read? If the answer is yes, then keep on reading. If the answer is no, let's talk about a few things we can look at to help us understand so that we can be successful and continue in our reading. There are two different kinds of reading skills that can keep us from understanding the text. The first is when you don't understand a word. When that happens, here are some ideas of what you can try. You can decode it again. Remember that when you decode, that means that you are breaking down the letter sounds in a word and then blending them all together to read the word fluently. Maybe you don't know what the word means. You know that you've read it correctly. Perhaps you recognize the word, but you just don't understand its meaning. Then you can look for context clues. That means you're using the sentences or words around that word you don't know to figure out that word's meaning. After you've done that and maybe come up with an idea of what that word does mean, you want to replace that word with a synonym or a word that means about the same thing. Let's think back to our word drowsy that we just learned in our academic vocabulary video. The word drowsy means sleepy or unable to think clearly. If you're reading a sentence and you think using context clues that the word could mean sleepy, then you want to take the word drowsy out of the sentence and put the word sleepy in the sentence. If the sentence makes sense, then there's a good chance that you have correctly identified the meaning of that word. Now, let's say that the first three ideas just don't work. You can always look up a word in a dictionary or in some cases, if you're reading a nonfiction book, it may have a glossary, which is a dictionary at the end of the book for words specifically in that text. And then you can read the meaning of the word there. Now, those are ideas for if you don't understand a word. The next list of ideas are for when a text is confusing. Some ideas are you can make notes about what confuses you. Write down the questions that you have as you read, and that will help you be able to analyze and look for the answers. You can also think about what you know. Everyone has some kind of background information about different topics. Some people have a lot and some people have a little. But try to access what you already know to help you figure out what the text is telling you. You can also reread that section and look for any details that you might have missed. Perhaps you skipped over a word as you were reading, and when you go back, you read that new word that you had missed, and now it helps to clarify or make the text clear. The last idea is that you can look for images and text features. Especially in nonfiction texts, they will often have images, photographs, illustrations that better help to explain the text. You can also look for text features. So those are going to be things like labels on illustrations, maybe captions on the photograph explaining the image that you see in your book. Perhaps you see a bold word 
and you know that you can go find the definition to that word in the glossary or the dictionary at the back of the book. These are just some ideas of what you can try when a text is confusing. I hope that this helps you in better knowing how to monitor your reading and clarify when you don't know either a word or understand a section of the text.